Perfect people of the web world, welcome back. In this video, we will talk about loops. How do you make and use them? We will also make an infinite loop, which is very fun at the end of this video by using while loop. In this video, we will cover two widely used loops with that 95% uh, of your tasks and your work can be done. Also with this video, we conclude our JavaScript for beginner tutorial series and I'm so happy for that. After going through this series, I'm sure you would have good confidence and good grip to start creating web projects and other cool stuff as well. So we will make some cool web projects and some game projects as well in a day or two. For now, let's get back to loops. So let's start. Loops work where you have to do the same thing a lot of time. We need a lot of data, which reminds us of arrays. So let's create an array. Call it shows. Some good shows are, let's say, friends, breaking bad. Prison break. What's wrong here? Oh, all right. Prison break. Mm. Let's say suits. Also, Sherlock. I want to loop through this array through all of these shows and we'll see how. So, you can do this with for loop. Say for show of shows. So I'll explain what is this. This is the instance of your array. And this is your array shows through which you have to loop. Now this can be anything. This can be show, this can be a loop or any X, Y, Z, whatever you want to write here works. But basically this means that this is one show of the shows array so this would be friends and then this shows value would be breaking bad next time this shows value would be prison break and so on now when your first element is selected what do you want to do with it log these are awesome shows save it and let's run it we can see these are awesome shows and it has run five times which is the same number of our array elements one two three four five cool now why am i using backticks here let's refresh our memory of backticks with this example now if i give shows array here then you see these are friends breaking bad prison break suits sherlock or some shows now consider you have to perform an activity when certain condition is met which brings us back to conditions and conditional statements so let's say if what is your condition if my loop has found suits then it has to do something if show equal to suits now why i'm using triple equal to can be found in my previous videos and you can clear the concept with that log suits is just awesome now i got reference error suits is not defined all right oh yeah okay this needs quotations it knows that it's a string suits is just awesome so what is happening here i'll get rid of this to remove the confusion now it is looping through all the shows but if it finds suits which is here it comes and logs into suits is just awesome for all the other elements it logs nothing now if you want to make that more clear we will log our let's say our loop this can be anything this is just a string to check the flow of our loop our loop has run three times here then it has logged suits is just awesome and then two times 
again it has been run so we can see our loop has totally run five times which is the number of our elements it has printed suits is just awesome if let's say once your condition is fine you don't want to check it for, for other elements so you can introduce break keyword here and see that our loop ran three times it printed and then it stopped so it ran for one two three it found out suits it locked and then it break so it did not go to shell lock now let's come back to the more fun part the while loop you can create infinite loops with file and i'll show you how let's say i is a variable and its value is zero while i is less than 100 log hello we can see we have created an infinite loop and it keeps on running which is a pain to the system so how can we break it and just close this for now so we can break it by giving condition which is i plus plus now if you check it so it ran for 100 times which is which is here till i was less than 100 and after that i went to plus plus so it went to 101 where the loop break now i is 101 so it won't go inside this and will not lock after that so that's how you make and break infinite loop and this is how you use your for loop you have any questions about any of these comment down about them and we together will solve thank you